Hey, what's going on guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So in this video we'll be learning to make this cool looking text reveal animation in a very simple way. So without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so in order to create the animation, first we'll have to create a new item. Go to the file menu and create a new legacy title. Click OK. So in this legacy title, all you have to do is click on this T button here and simply type in some text. Hi. So um, I'll change the font to, you know, something that is that is given by Premiere Pro so I this looks good to me and close it and I'll drag this onto the right side panel here so that a sequence is created let me just adjust this to the center around here okay so the next thing that I'll do is hold alt on my keyboard and drag this by moving this to the top like this so that it gets duplicated now I'll double click on this and I'll change the text here. I'll type welcome and I'll I'll change this to italic. You can use however you want but you know this is just uh, you know to tell you how this effect is done. I'll also increase the font size just like this. Okay, I'll also place this here close this I'll duplicate this again by holding alt on my keyboard and dragging it to the top I'll double click this and I'll change this to to I'll again duplicate it no it's it's uh, Premiere Pro is all about creativity so you know it all depends on how you want the effect to be applied all right so this is something that we did with our text here now we'll have to animate these you know these text layers all right so in order to animate these text layers all you have to do is go to around uh, one second on your timeline go to the point here select one of the video here i mean one of the text layer here and click on this timer button here that a keyframe is created so select the other layer and do the same thing you'll have to enable this timer button so that the text will get animated when we make necessary changes that one second i I enable the timer icon for uh, all these five texts. So I'll go to the first frame here and what I'll do is I'll simply move each one of the texts in different directions. So I imagine that there's a box here and then I'll move these text, text boxes outside this imaginary box that I'll, I'll, I'll basically crop in the next step. So I'll simply move this outside these like this I'll move the second text in such a way that it comes from the top and I'll move the third text from the left I'll move this premier text to come from the right and I'll move this last text in such a way that it comes from the bottom so if I start playing this, this is how the video is going to look like. Perfect. Now all you have to do is select all these text layers. Right click here and click on this nest. So it will create a nested sequence and it plays something like this. So what you have to do now is go to the FX panel and simply type in crop and drag this crop onto our nested sequence just like this. Once you are done with this, 
you can see multiple settings here for the crop option here and make sure you increase each one of the value in such a way that you know you can see that the text is is just starting like this i'll also change the top value in such a way that it is on the edge of the the first text layer that you see here and i'll also do it the same thing for the right i don't want it to cover any portion but just like this perfect so now if i start playing the video this is how it's going to look like so your our uh, nested sequence gets cropped and you can see something like this appearing and the last thing that you can do is simply add something um some video in the bottom let me show you how so i have a video in my project i have this here i'll move the nested sequence one layer above and drag this ocean footage just below it and uh, let me cut this and all you can do is simply type um camera blur in the fx and presets panel and drag this onto the bottom most video and change its value to 15 instead of 25 this gives us a cool looking background and if i start playing this this is how our text is going to reveal so all of you premiere pro is all about creativity so you can use this technique to generate a cool looking effect based on your requirement i hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you need to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always connect with me on instagram at vfx guy ravi mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials all right so see you guys next time with another tutorial